This video will be part one of two. Uh, this first one I'm going to visit with my friend Pete, who's a Hollywood stuntman. He's also a good, close, personal friend of John Quaid's. Uh, Pete will share some stories with us. And then in part two, be sure to click on that video because we'll go over to the uh, cemetery and uh, and we'll continue to visit there about John Quaid, quite an individual. You know, I was thinking I might uh, get a Black Widow tattooed on my son. Oh, yeah? Because I qualify. You do, yeah. <laughs> what, do you yeah. I do? what do you mean I you do? You do. You look like a John Quaid type, right? Uh, yeah. He actually, when we opened our motorcycle shop, oh, he okay. came dressed as Trolla. Oh, and cool. And he got the tattoo cool. on there. How'd you meet him? I met him, the first time I met him was on Dukes of Hazard, And then, like 20 years later, a friend of mine and I were just talking about him, saying, I wonder whatever happened, because we knew he lived out here somewhere, but we didn't know where. And then it was very strange, because the very next day, after we were talking about him, he walks in through the front door. To no buy, kid. To buy a bed. No kid. I looked up, yeah. and there he was. <laughs> and then wow, it was small just world. Like, it was just like... Um, we just picked up where we left off 20 years earlier. Nice. Yeah. He remembered you. No, he didn't remember no. me. Uh -huh. But but because um, there was so many of us back then. But but um, we were just like fast friends right away. Just yeah. like, and then we were together almost every day. Really. Uh, after that, yeah, we would go out yeah. into the desert, and and he he was really into into uh, mining, gold mines, old mm -hmm. mines. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of old gold mines out in the Mojave. Mm -hmm. Area and up in Tehachapi area, oh. and he knew where all, he knew where everything was. Wow! So we would wow. we would jump in my truck and just head out for the day. Uh, it, did he also work a secular job in between uh, movies? He, he he didn't in his later years. In his early years, he actually worked for the railroad. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 He was a railroad worker for right. for quite some. Pretty time. bright guy. Really. Yeah. Really. Aerospace guy. engineer. Yep. Yeah. Very intelligent guy. Yeah, Green Beret. Oh, he was. Yeah, I didn't know Green that. Beret. Yeah, he's, wow. When you go over here to the cemetery, he's buried in the military. Okay. So, okay. We'll go over there yeah. later. Oh, it's not nice. far. Nice. It's okay. Just right around, almost right around the corner. Okay, we'll do that. And I appreciate your time too. So you want me to tell you the story? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So here, all this was empty back then. So John could fall asleep anywhere. Mm -hmm. He he'd fall asleep like that. Uh -huh. So he came in here, and he lays down on the floor right here, and he just falls asleep. He's out, completely out. Right here on the floor? Right here on the floor, he oh. just falls asleep. Okay, with all these mattresses, he right. sleeps on the floor. He sleeps on the floor, <laughs> right? So this lady came in with her daughter, and they're looking at the beds. They don't see him laying there. <laughs> so then they, they come up a little farther up this way, and... And I think the little girl saw him first. Yeah. And he's completely out. And I didn't say anything. <laughs> so then the mother sees him. And then they're looking at him. And the little girl says, is he real? <laughs> and, I, and then the mother says, he looks like that guy in the Clint Eastwood movies. And I said, oh no, that's not real. I said, those are, uh, we just got those in. And uh, I said, you remember the beanie, the beanie babies? 
you know, where you, yeah. little stuff. I said, well, these yeah. are celebrity beanies. They call them celebrity beanies. They make them in in uh, Clint Eastwood, John Wayne. So, and now the lady's looking at me like, am I for real or am I just BSing her? Well, then she realizes, you know, that something's up. So, um, one of them, I, it might have been the little girl asked, how much are they? And I told her a price. I don't remember what it was. And then she laughed, and then the mother laughed, and they realized, okay, I'm just messing with them. Uh -huh. But John's still asleep. Still asleep. On his back? Nope, just yeah. laying on his side. Okay. He can sleep like that. But they saw fall. his face. Oh, yeah, he can sleep uh -huh. anywhere. He yeah. can fall asleep standing up, this guy. He, uh -huh. he, he, John was just like that. Yeah. So. He had that face that only a mother can love. Right? Right? <laughs> Yeah, he didn't look like anybody else. No. Right? No. So um, so they left. Mm -hmm. They did their whatever they were doing, bought whatever they were buying, and off they go. He's still asleep. So then he wakes up, and my wife was laughing at him, and she says, oh, there was customers in here while you were asleep. And I told him, I said, yeah, I already sold you twice. <laughs> <laughs> but that was yeah. done. He, would, he wow. would just come in here. He would hang out in here sometimes all day. No kid. Yeah. Ah. People person. He was very much a people person. Yeah. yeah. But a very smart man. If you go on YouTube and look at some of the uh, videos of him, he would talk at different universities. Mm -hmm. Have you seen those? Uh, I, you should, you I, should look I, I think up. one uh, back in 93. What I think. we're experiencing now uh -huh. is what he was talking yes. about. Yes. Yes. Now, um, he felt that the constitution has been twisted oh yeah messed up bent broken right. to fit today's man's need right. uh, wants right yeah uh did he ever do you know if he ever uh, applied and ex received social security i don't know okay because i know he didn't believe in social security numbers yeah i don't yeah i don't ever remember him talking about it mm -hmm. uh, I know he was always happy when the residual checks came in. <laughs> yeah, he would call me and say, hey, Pete, yeah. I got money. Let's go. <laughs> All right, good. Because, see, he didn't even yeah. have a driver's license. Yes. He had no driver's uh -huh. license. He didn't uh -huh. drive. Uh -huh. And uh, so one day we were, I would drive us everywhere. Uh -huh. So one day we were coming back from Mojave. We spent okay. a lot of time in Mojave. Yeah. Out now, Mojave is, what, 20 miles yeah, north, uh, of north of here, about 20 miles. Yeah. Okay. And... Uh, uh, we usually took Sarah Highway. We didn't stay on the freeway much. We usually took old, old roads. Mm -hmm. And uh, right on the corner of uh, Sarah Highway and and uh, Roseman Boulevard, there was a, a Ford dealership there. And John knew what kind of truck I had been looking for. I was looking for a particular truck. It was a it was a Ford F three fifty, dually rear end the full length bed, crew cab, four wheel drive diesel. And uh, I wanted either a white one or a red one. And so one day we're coming back from Mojave and we stop at the light right there at the boulevard. And all of a sudden he leans over and he punches me right in the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Pow, he hits me in the shoulder. Mm -hmm. And and John's hands were huge. Uh -huh. <laughs> when he made a fist, it was like it was uh -huh. like getting hit by a bear. Right? It was a bear paw. Uh -huh. So he punches me in the shoulder and he goes, "There's your truck." Uh -huh. And I'm like, "What the hell is he talking about?" Yeah. And on the corner was at the Ford dealership. Right on the corner was the truck that I want. He says, "There's your truck. There's your truck. Let's go. <laughs> let's go get it." So we so we go into the Ford dealership. And, I, and they knew me over there because we had already bought a few cars from them over mm -hmm. there. So uh, uh, the salesman over there, Dave Chapman, I said, hey, I, I want that truck. And uh, he tossed me the keys and says, well, here, go take it, drive it, uh -huh. see what you think. So John and I jump in that truck. Now, what year was this? This was in, oh, it must have been like, oh, five. Okay. It must have been around, oh, five. Okay. So... Uh, we jump in that truck and take off down Rosemont Boulevard. Well, the freeway's right there. So, so John says, let's see what it'll do. Let's get on the freeway and see what it'll do. And I, jokingly, I said, it ain't going to do much. Because I'm thinking, I had, never, I had never owned a diesel pickup before. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking it's a diesel, so it's going to be this big lumbering elephant. You know, and it's going to start off gradual and gain speed. 
like a big truck, right? So we jump in that thing, and we go down there, and we jump on the freeway. John says, let's see what it'll do. <laughs> put your foot in it. And man, I put my foot, and they're turbocharged. Uh -huh. right? That thing took off like a rocket, right? It sucked us back in the seat. Mm -hmm. John was laughing. He had a great laugh. He had a contagious laugh. If he started laughing, everybody else started laughing. Right? We laughed, and we blast off down the freeway. And we come back to the dealership, and uh, and I said, oh, I said I really want this truck. And he says, well, take it, take it for the day. Just take it, show your wife. You know? So we come over here to show my wife, and I said, oh, I, you know, I, I want to get this truck. And she looks at it. She she said, ah, oh, no, we don't. Yeah. We already had, I think, yeah. two trucks. Uh, and so she says, uh, I said, well, jump in, you know. Uh -huh. and, so we'd go in, we'd go for a ride, come back. Anyway, make a long story short, she tells me, no, we really don't need another truck right now. Well, she, Don't you hate that? She's being a sneak, right? Uh, she's thinking, she knew that John and I were going to be leaving to do a show. Okay. And uh, we were going to, we were starting a show called John Quaid's Mysterious Adventures. And it was going to be a documentary of crypto, cryptozoology. Did that take off? No, because he died. Oh, right when we were shooting the oh, pilot, right? Boy, that sounds so interesting. What we did was, what she did rather, was she she's always pulling surprises, right? So John and I take off to go do the show. She calls the dealership after she told me we you know we don't need another truck. She calls me and says, Hey, bring that truck. Now that Pete's gone, I want to buy it and surprise him with it. Oh, isn't that so, sound you married well. So so John and I go off and do this show, and she goes and buys the truck. So that when we came back, nice. then the truck yeah. was, was there. Uh, did the dealership recognize John? Oh, yeah. Everybody yeah. knew John. He's a local guy oh, yeah. around. John yeah. was a local coffee shop guy. Yeah. See him in a grocery store, oh, yeah. gas station. John's, John yeah. never. John was funny because John never realized who he was mm -hmm. to the public. He was a Hollywood. He never, yeah. he used to laugh, he never quite understood why people wanted his autograph. Really? Uh, he, he was the farthest thing from the movie star mentality mm -hmm. that you could get. Uh -huh. John was just a, uh, just a good old boy, let's jump in a pickup truck and go out in the desert and see what we can find. Uh -huh. That was John. People would ask him for his autograph and he would, he would laugh. He, thought it was, he had more fun telling people he wasn't John Quake. <laughs> People would say, you yeah. look like that guy. And he goes, oh, I get that all the time. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, um, yeah he, John never, I don't think John ever realized that he was a movie star. Mm -hmm. I don't think he ever realized that. Mm -hmm. And he was so good at what he did. I mean, when you see John Quaid as a bad guy, he's a bad guy. He is, the, he is a bad dude. But if you knew John Quaid, which his real name, by the way, wasn't Quaid. It was John Saunders. The third. I believe, yeah. Okay. How, how'd he end up out here in the West? He came out here. It's funny, because that's how he got his name, Quaid. He came out here with a with a, a band. A band? A band. He was part of a band, and it was called Something in the McQuaids. And I don't remember what it was, what the first part was. It was something maybe a guy's name and the McQuaid's. Mm -hmm. And he came out here with them and he he uh, was sitting in a coffee shop and a guy came up to him and said, Hey, have you ever done in the have you ever done any acting? And John said, No. And he says, Well you have a great face and he takes out a card and the uh -huh. guy was like a casting uh -huh. director. Uh -huh. Or maybe worked for a casting director, and he gave John this card, and he said, "Hey, if you're ever interested, no kidding, you know, give me uh, a call." So, uh -huh. so then John got to thinking about it, and, and he did call the guy, uh -huh. and the guy got him John's first job as an actor, where he got his Screen Actors Guild card, mm -hmm. was on Bonanza, and he played a uh, telegraph operator, and that got him his SAG card. What year was this? Oh gosh, that had to have been way back. Well, let's see. Uh, yeah. It had to have been sometime in the '60s, huh. maybe mid to late '60s, mm -hmm. um, because Bonanza started what in '59, mm -hmm. 
and it ran all the way into the 70s. So it, I would yeah. say probably like 68, huh. probably wow. around 68. But the way he became John Quaid mm -hmm. was there was already another actor named John Saunders. Oh. So, so SAG told him, well, you can't use that last name. You have to come up with another name, mm -hmm. and because the, the the group that he was with was called the McQuades, uh -huh. he just took the Quaid, and he became John Quaid. Huh. Yeah. Was he a singer? Or? Pardon me. Was he a singer? Or, I don't know. Or guitar? Yeah. I don't know. Huh. Wow. I don't know what wow. he did with the with the band. He didn't talk about it much. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. But you know, he know. he was he was not looking to become an actor. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a goal in his life was to become a, a just a actor. natural act, just natural. He just had to face. And then the next thing, yeah. he gets invited into um, what do they call that group uh, of actors? It's kind of a exclusive group. What do they call them? I'll have to think about that. Oh, uh, you got me. It, like something yeah. like the something stage, something stage actors. Guild or no, it's yeah. not the guild. Yeah, it was um, got me. I'll have to think about it. Yeah, I've been hitting the head a lot, so <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did you become a stuntman? Uh, uh, Shorty Shay was an influence in your Absolutely. life, Absolutely. that's why today you're a stuntman. Absolutely, yeah. yeah, yeah. I met Shorty when I was 10, and he, he just became a real influence. There would be a video about uh, Shorty Shay. Uh, Pete would actually write his motorbike or mini bike actually over to Spawn Ranch when he was a 10 year old. He gets acquainted with Shorty Shea. Shorty Shea has a big influence on Pete's life. He became a stuntman because of Shorty Shea. Now be sure to click on uh, part two as Pete and I will go over to the cemetery and uh, visit about John. <laughs>